Where is the best market for long-term buy and hold investing? What are we doing, folks? We are looking for the best markets in the United States for investors like you to get the biggest bang for your buck because the rent is due. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. I am here to help investors like you. By the way, if you dig the shirt... HWTV10 is the promo code to grab yourself 10% off. Click the notes below the show to order some swag. Moving on from the swag, let's talk about real estate. Let's talk about the markets, right? Today I'm working with a guy named Charles, everyday guy just like a lot of you, right? Charles wants to invest in real estate. I've been working with Charles for quite some time now to build him a cash flow Rental property portfolio. We've been hitting a lot of super low-cost cash flow properties, right? We're focusing on the best markets in the U.S., right? There's just some markets out there, folks, where your money doesn't go very far, right? Think California. How are you going to get started in real estate investing in California? How are you going to make money as a landlord in California? How are you going to make money as a landlord in Portland? Is it even legal to evict people in Portland? I, I don't think so, right? I mean, you're in Portland. Tenant doesn't pay rent. I think you need to, like, go to their house and fucking cook them some cookies, man. Bake them a cake. I don't know. There's no, no landlord rights in some of those places, right? That's not what we do here. We focus on the markets where it makes sense. We focus on the markets where out-of-control liberal politicians are not selling your property rights for currency, for votes, right, from the ultra-left, the insanity, right? So that's what we're doing. We're going to focus on a market that, A, has reasonable landlord-tenant regulations, right? I'm not saying it needs to be like Arkansas, where if your tenant doesn't pay rent, you're allowed to fucking shoot them. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be like that. But there's a lot of markets in the U.S. where the regulations are fair. That's where we start, number one, right? Because if the regulations aren't fair, how are you going to actually eke out a profit? Number two, we need to find markets where the pricing is reasonable, right? Sorry, Hawaii. Sorry, California. Sorry, Portland. Sorry, Seattle. Sorry, Denver, right? All those places, the housing costs much higher than the U.S. median, right? So we're going to look for something that's lower than that so people can jump into the game and make some money. And today I got a triplex that's only going to require $31,000 out of your pocket, Charles. $31,000 out of your pocket, and it's going to gross twenty five k a year in rent. I'm going to break down that property, how you're going to acquire the property, how you're going to finance the property, where the property is, what that market is like, and how my team will handle all the on-the-ground work for you right after this. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Now we're going to get into how that sausage is made, man. Woo! I love me some real estate. I love me some cash flow real estate. And this is cash flow real estate in a beautiful way, baby. I'm talking. I am talking about generating $25,000 a year out of this thing. Twenty-five grand. It might not look like much, right? This thing is not beautiful. It is not sexy, right? This thing is not freaking, I don't know, Carmen Electra, right? This is like B. Arthur, okay? But that's all right because this is what cash flow real estate looks like. It's super, uh, you know, average, right? It's not glamorous, but this, this thing is a cash cow, and it does not matter 
where you live because my team handles the dirty work. It handles the on-the-ground stuff. It deals with the tenants. It deals with the toilets. It deals with the trouble, and it allows you to get your real estate business started on a very small budget. We're talking 31 thousand bucks or so out of your pocket right what it is it is a triplex right triplex triplexes are my second favorite type of property of all time of all time my first favorite property is a quad four unit right it goes fourplex then triplex then duplex those are my top three right you might be like okay i get why he likes a four unit more than a three unit and i get why he likes a three unit more than a two unit but why doesn't he like a five unit more than a four unit because once you get to five folks the game changes okay when we're just getting started in real estate which is a lot of people that work with holton wise tv why because a lot of people trying to get started with holton wise uh working with holton wise tv are doing so because they are priced out of their home markets, right? And if you're priced out of your home markets, what does that mean? It means you have a problem acquiring a large sum of cash flow. So you go to other markets, markets like this one, Northeast Ohio, where you can pick up properties for a lower amount of cash. So that means if you're cash short, what do we want to do, folks? We want to leverage. We want to leverage our funds. The best way to leverage your funds is with residential financing. 30 years, right? Three, zero. It's hard to do a zero while I hold this fucking pen. Three, zero, folks. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, low interest loans. Where are we? We're in 2022. What is happening right now? The interest rates are at historic lows. They're going to go up. Money is cheap. We need to acquire as much of that money as possible. That 30-year cheap money, though, can only be used on one, two, three, and four unit properties. Once you get to five, you no longer get it, right? So what does the savvy investor do, right? They try to utilize as much of that money as possible with as many units as possible, right? So triplexes and quads have the most. The only negative to that money is you're capped at 10. So my recommendation is to use one of those mortgages on your home, take care of home base first, then use nine of those mortgages on your investment properties. But if you want to get crazy, live, to, live in a van down by the river and use your 10 mortgages on 10 quads and get 40 rental income checks, I ain't going to stop you, but I'm just saying that's not the path I recommend. Now, with all that said, this property, 338 10th Street, Elyria, 44035, just hit the market, five days on the market. They got this sucker priced at 119900 I do not want you to bid 119900 I want you to go over. Hundred twenty five grand because this some bitch is going to have a bidding war. Why? Because it makes money. Who doesn't like money? Everybody likes money, right? I think we could probably take it down at 125. That's what I do, right? I try to get you money off the list price when that's appropriate, and I think it could happen. Other times, my job is to make sure you understand the market in the way that I do. And when there's going to be a brutal bidding war, I'm talking William Wallace. I don't even know who he fought. Was it the British or he was English? No, he was Scottish. He was he was definitely Scottish, and he fought the whoever the hell Mel Gibson was fucking up. That's who I, you know, if, 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 if we're in a war like that, I got I to gotta let you know. I got to prepare you for war, and that's what's going to happen here, okay? I can't come up here and be like, yo, I can get you this for 100. No, that'd be insane. There's going to be a lot of people bidding on this because the numbers are insane. We will go over them shortly. So to put you in the best position to win, you got to go above list price, 125K, all right? Market rents, folks, 25800 a year, right? 750 750 650 Now, we are not currently getting that. The rents are a little lower. They're 650, 600, and 450, but we will slowly increase those rents throughout the course of ownership, right? I showed you the pictures. You don't want to kick any of them tenants out because, of course, you got to redo the unit when they get all their stuff out. That would be money going away from you. Don't worry about that, right? We'll take a little less cash flow immediately, but we're going to make you more over the long haul by reducing your vacancy, right? turnovers kill your returns folks you're in this game to avoid turnovers keep cash coming in don't send cash out when you don't have to okay but when we are at market rent what's this sucker going to look like long term well 
it's going to look like approximately $13,925 a month in, or a year in pure profit, right? I have all of your fixed and variable expense estimates lined up for you. That's why you work with Holt and Wise. I don't just come on here and say, yo, 25 k in rent, you're going to make 25 k No, there are costs associated with owning rental properties, especially when you're paying another company, a la my company, to manage them for you, right? That's why you can do this from anywhere. That's why you can do this from California. That's why you can do this from New York. That's why you can do this from Switzerland, folks. We help people as far away as Switzerland get in on these cheap properties, right? Because this is one of the best cash flow markets in the USA. 13925 All you need to do, put up your $31,250. I'll get you that sweet 30-year financing for the other 93 And that would net out to be a 30% cash on cash return uh, estimate, right? And this neighborhood, I love this neighborhood, Elyria. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio. I know a lot of people on a national scale think Cleveland uh, when they come here. We work all of Northeast Ohio, folks. The Cleveland major metropolitan area is not just the city of Cleveland. Cleveland's got like 350 or 60 or between 340 and like 370,000 people, somewhere in there. I don't remember what it is exactly off the top of my head, okay? The metro area is like around three to four million, okay? So Cleveland is just a teeny little drop in the overall bucket of what we're doing in this region. And guess what? A lot of people, a lot of national people focus on the city of Cleveland. So properties like this that don't have a Cleveland address, they often get overlooked and we can pick them up for lower prices, right? So I told you it's going to be a brutal bidding war, right? Some William Wallace type, type stuff here. And we're going to try to pick it up at 125. If this had a Cleveland address, we'd probably have to pay like 140, right? So I think we're actually getting uh, better pricing in Elyria. And in a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods in Cleveland, like a lot of them on the west side that we're very heavily invested in over here, uh, I would say you get equal or sometimes even a better tenant base and housing stock in Elyria. Plus, in my opinion, uh, the local government, much easier to deal with. So I am very high on this investment. I think you should be high too, which is why I recommend a $125,000 bid. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.